and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine that you will absolutely love. You know that wine that when you pour it in the glass and you're like, and then you swirl it around, the scent rises into your nostrils and you think, oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> it's unreal what you're thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, that's yeah. Fine, that's fine, if that's, if that's uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that, yeah. And hopefully, amongst all of the wines that we're presenting to you, we'll find one that will do exactly that for you. And in this occasion, we're going to taste a Spanish wine. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure uh, uh, Spanish colleagues over in the EU, shortly maybe not to be colleagues anymore. Ooh, oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. But they will pronounce this differently, but uh, I'm going to have a go at it as Prio Rat. <laughs> Pure rat. Pure rat. Hey, uh, prior rat. Prior rat. rat. Prior rat. Uh, yeah, we'll see it coming on to John's uh, right, your left, coming along across there now. Um, and you can see it's P R I O R A T. And uh, anyone in Spanish out there, be pleased for you to tell us how we should say it, if we can. I find Spanish language really difficult. It's very sort of guttural, isn't it? Guttural, you know? right, okay. It's very I find it very difficult. I, mean, I find English difficult. So. <laughs> I didn't like to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not surprising, really. So, this is um, from the uh, Re Rebra. Rebra. <laughs> <laughs> you really do struggle with that, huh? No, no, that's that's, that's, oh, no, that's lead, lead, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, is it the actual area is pre I believe so. Is yes. The re oh no, no, no. It's origin the Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that's how we pronounce that. How do you pronounce it then? I can't. Cal I don't. <laughs> you do well, John. We're doing well. I'll put it underneath here. You can see. You can see where the. Yeah, uh, you make your own minds up there. Yeah. But what is interesting is is, is a, a blend of what is it? Four, five, six grapes in there. We've got Grenache, Grenache. Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Mazula, and Syrah. Okay. So there's quite a lot of. Yeah. Quite a lot in there. I don't think they're particularly known for the cab, cab sav in, in Spain, are they? I don't no, think so. I mean, Grenache and Temperillo, I think they're their primary grapes. So. Yeah, Syrah as well. You wouldn't have thought, well, okay, well. Okay. Makes for an interesting read. So what, should we have a... Uh, letters, letters, sir. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Well, the first thing to notice is it's very light in colour, isn't it? Very translucent. It is, yeah. It's not... It would be worth noticing, uh, noting as well that it's 14.5% is the song. 14.5%? So it's quite a, a lot of alcohol. I wish I'd got that amount of discount. <laughs> <laughs> one day, John, one day I'll be honest. But yes, we, I described that as quite thin looking. Yeah. Yeah, but, it, yeah. but it's also, it's, it's an off, it's not quite... Rather a ranchant colour. <laughs> ranchant, that's... <laughs> right, get it, Brit. <laughs> <laughs> Describe this ranchant. Well, it's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of like a light red. We're not, it's, it's, it's deep red, but we've sort of like a, a whitey bits at the edge. <laughs> Is ranchant a real colour? <laughs> no, I just thought the word seemed right to me to describe it. I, it, it, I mean, I, I love that, that you can word make came from the heart. I, I don't doubt it. Um, it's, it's slightly, a slightly tawny colour, only slightly. Yeah. Like it's. it's just on the turn? Yes, yeah. No, I don't think it is though. Well, just give it a nose, that should tell us. Yeah. So it's not really in your face, is it? No. <laughs> and it's not on the turn either. Just. just <laughs> 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 I've got to be very careful. It? But, no, it's, um, it's not as punchy as I thought that would be. No, I mean, you, fine. Can, you can get some uh, cherries, would you say? Well, de definitely cherries, yeah. Red it's cherries as opposed to black cherries. Yeah, it's, it's on the lighter style. Yeah. And a, a hint a hint of chocolate on the end there. Just, just a hint. <sighs> but but no. it's not really giving much away. No, it's not. So I'm going to give it a go. Okay. That's surprising. It is. That's 14.5%. Um, I was getting myself ready for a really sort of powerful whop. The taste's quite subtle, quite light. And the actual viscosity of the, 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 the wine isn't heavy. It's mm. quite light and refreshing. You're completely correct. As you said, 14.5%, you were expecting a big kind of 
teeth blackener, you know, that, that which, you, which you would expect a fault in It's actually quite light, very juicy. Yeah. But it's not... I, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I, I, it's a nice wine. I'm, I'm enjoying that, but it's not what I expected. Um, you know, the, the, it's not much coming through on, on the palate there. And from that blend of grapes plus the alcohol content, I really was expecting big things from that. I was expecting that to hurt almost, you know, yeah. that, that kind of, But even on the flavour there, it's just a, a hint of the cherry coming through, but nothing, nothing, I can't discern any one other. Well, the other strange thing is that you're right, the, the power is, isn't really a powerful taste, it's a nice taste, and I can't really detect what fruit, but it's a, But the other thing is that normally you get sort of wines that are either very powerful and there's a long length to them, or, or this one, the length is there, but it's very subtle. It's not like the full strength, it's, mm. it's just a subtle. It just taste. kind of sits on your tongue as opposed to like some of them, I say, they can just sit there and, and be over. Well, I say overpowering. You know, I, I do like them like that when they stay there for a long time. This is staying there for a long time, but it's just a little hint of it being there. Mm. And they're even talking now. Can still taste that. So it's quite. I would describe that as interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's a blend, so um, I guess that's how they've managed to uh, get it like that. But mm. yeah. Um, but very unusual for the whole. I don't keep coming back to it, but 14.5%. That's a dangerous 14 and a half percent because that does not taste anywhere close. You know, sometimes you think that's a light wine, wouldn't you? you probably, yeah, yeah, because it's a quaffing it. Yeah, well, it's 14 and a half, you know, that, that you know, it does command respect. You can't really, and it really, you know, one glass is, but you can see we're quite happily supping away there. Yeah, that is. Uh, so, what I mean, one of the other things in terms of a strong, strong red wine, and you normally obviously be able to pair it with strong cheese or a strong dish, but with this, I don't think you would be able to. No, I don't think that would take. Take any, you know, it might take a white cheese, but it would not take a blue cheese. No, no, I think the blue cheese would finish that off. I mean, we'd have to, we'd have to try it, John. We'd have, have to, to try, try it. it because sometimes you can be surprised by these things. But for me, I don't think that would take it on very well, very well at all. I think the blue cheese would make mincemeat of that. Yeah, so to speak. Well, so to speak. Mm. I bet we're saying that. You know, I'm happily supping away then. Yeah, no, it is, it is very nice. It is very nice. And just, just so surprising in terms of its mm. lightness, as you say, for 14.5%. And uh, and also, it's the taste. I, uh, strange, I, I like it, but I'm not quite sure why. Do you know what I mean? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's because you can't really, can't really pick out the flavour, it's very difficult to discern what's in there. You can't put your finger quite on it. So it's like an interesting thing. Mm. So, yes, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay, well, <clears throat> it's available from Sainsbury's. It is in there. If, you, if you've watched some of our previous videos where we've tasted uh, some of Sainsbury's, you know I like to say, taste the difference range. Um, so <laughs> he does like to say that. <laughs> I do love to say that. No, no, why? But I do. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it is available at Sainsbury's. Uh, give it a try. It's, it's, if you like something that, you know, you want something that's uh, got a little bit of an alcohol content but isn't too heavy uh, mm. and something to, to give a go. I think you're right there, John, if, if, you're, if you're wanting the alcohol in there, but not too big a... Because that is the thing, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah. the, I mean, we, we are noticing wines are going up in alcohol, you know, quite... Back in the day, it was, you know, it was unheard of to get a 14.5%. That was reserved for the big boys. Now, a lot of people, it's nearly difficult to get something under 13. Well, and if you think about it, the sherry is somewhere around about 15, 16%, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. So, yeah. you know, that was supposed to be a fortified wine. Yeah. Or is a fortified wine. So, uh, yeah. Okay, well, we really enjoyed that. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to uh, our next one. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin.